Oh my god, they're even cuter from up close. I've never been this close to them before. Oh, all that time, watching them from the shadows, only stirred up my feelings for them. And I can't believe that I finally get to be in the same room as them. The pretty face, that pretty smile, all the past hours and observations have been leading up to this very moment. It was worth it to follow them around everywhere they went, because I have the most to myself. The blood flowing through their body sends shivers down my spine. I can even hear their heartbeat beating steadily in their chest. And soon, that heart will only beat for me. Now, what if I just... Their body feels so warm underneath mine. It's just perfect. I can't wait to make them all mine. Just for me. I might be getting a little too out of myself, so I'll just straddle them until they feel my presence and decide to open their eyes, only to meet mine for the first time. Shh, shh, shh. No, no, no. Don't scream. Please, just stay quiet. I won't hurt you, I promise. Just stay quiet. I, I know you have a lot of questions, such as, who are you and what are you doing in my room, but that's not important. All you need to know is that I know a lot about you. Y yes, I've been watching you for a very long time now. Always keeping my eyes on you from the shadows. And I must say, I take it quite the liking to you. Everything about you managed to grab my attention. <clears throat> and I couldn't be more happy to have met you. Even if our first encounter is from your bedroom, while I'm on top of you. <laughs> I watched your every move and action, dedicated my time to observing you, seeing what you would do and don't. But your body, appearance, and qualities weren't the only thing that attracted me towards you. There was another thing about you that made me become attached to you. <sighs> Your scent. Your scent is what made me become obsessed with you. Oh, your blood smells absolutely delicious. Flowing underneath your soft skin. I can't even begin to imagine how good it tastes. And your heart pumping it all throughout your body, spreading it absolutely everywhere. That drove me crazy. What's with that look on your face? You seem totally oblivious as to what's happening right now. Couldn't you tell from the last few minutes? It should be pretty obvious by now. But I'm a vampire. Look. <laughs> oh, your face went totally pale. You seem to be quite shocked from my reveal. But you don't have to worry. I won't bite you just yet. I want to show dedicated I am to following and loving you. And now that I finally have your body right underneath mine, the time couldn't get any better. 
I bet you taste divine. Not like all the other people that came before you. Hmm. I've been waiting a very long time for this exact moment. Where it's just me and you. No one else. I get to finally reveal myself and my traits to you. No more hiding in the shadows. Slowly lurking around you. This time, I get you all to myself. This time and forever. Oh, why, yes. I grew very fond of you. It took me years to find someone just like you. And after all the waiting, searching, stalking, and murdering, I found you. The perfect person to be with me for the rest of our lives. All the previous people that I so eagerly watched either tried to run away from me or tried to fight back my undying love for them. None of them ended up alive. I killed each and every one of them, hoping that I wouldn't have to do the same for the next. I hope you won't try what they did. I'd hate to kill a cutie like you. And I will have to ask you to never talk to people you love most ever again. Your friends, lovers, and family all have to leave your side. If you don't want the same to happen to them as well. Especially your lovers. I've seen you come back to your house every so often with a partner by your side. Making out with them and letting them into your arms. I got so jealous that I wanted to break into your house right then and there. And kill your partner right in front of you. To show you that I was... The one meant for you to let you know who you belong to. Of course, you didn't even know of my existence back then, but that's beside the point. All you need to know is that I'm the one meant for you, and you're the one meant for me. As for all your partners, who either tried to win your heart over and be with you, or the ones who just took advantage of you, wanting nothing else besides your love, not caring about you or your other beautiful aspects, they all died one by one. I killed them all to show you that they were not the right person for you. But now you have me, the only person that you'll ever need. Hey, don't struggle your way out of this. You'll hurt yourself if you do that. Do you feel that? The weight of my arm. Pinning your shoulders to the bed. That's just another trait of me. So that I know that you won't be going anywhere anytime soon. But if you do manage to escape from me, my heart would bleed at the idea of hurting you. So I will just drag you back to me. In my arms, where you rightfully belong, I won't allow you to see other people apart from me. And if you do, I'll make sure to hurt them really, really bad. So, 
Why don't you be a good little pet and stop resisting? It would be better for the both of us if you didn't try to escape every few seconds. You know you can't leave this pet. Not with me around. Given to my love and affection that I offer you, feel how good my love is for you. And don't worry, I'll take really good care of you. Then you won't even have to leave my house. All you have to do is stay put and show me how much you love me as well. There you go. You started to loosen up a little. Doesn't the idea of spending the rest of your eye... <clears throat> Doesn't the idea of spending the rest of your life with me put you at ease? It will be all alright, darling. Although, as much as I hate it, we won't be staying at your house, but mine. So, I can keep my eyes fixed on yours, and that you won't try anything to get away from me. I will even chain you up so you can't move from the spot. Until I can fully trust you to wander around in my house. Who knows? Maybe you'll find plenty of surprises waiting for you around there. Surprises that I store only for ones that I truly love. And to the ones who make it as far as you did with me. But. You have to know that I'm going to do this because I love you. I love you so very much that I decided to sneak into your room and sit on top of you after all the time that I spent watching you, oh, waiting patiently to be presented with this wonderful opportunity. Where I can finally see you from this close up. Although this situation isn't the most optimal for our first contact, I couldn't be happier. So I want to make you mine forever and ever. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. All snuggled up in my embrace, which you'll never want to leave. And you'd accept me with open arms, right, darling? Doesn't it sound appealing to you as well? I know you may not want it right now, but you'll see later. You'll see that you want to spend as much time with me as I do with you. After all, it's not like you have a choice. You'll be with me for the rest of the time that you'll live on this earth, whether you like it or not. Oh, come on. What's with that look on your face? Don't tell me that it's not what you always wanted. Besides, all your previous lovers didn't actually love you. I saw them as well, watching their moves, trying to figure out the perfect moment to kill them. But I also heard them talking behind your back, saying that they wanted to be together with you, simply to take advantage and make a fool out of you. So, it's the best for us to be together and push aside all other people who took their chances with you. Think of them as poison and me the cure. The cure to all your loneliness and sadness. There's no need to worry. It's fine. Now you have me. Someone who loves you back. And would never leave your side, even in the toughest moments. All the other people who you loved are gone now, because I wanted to make them know 
who truly love you because I wanted to make sure they knew who truly loves you, not like them. So I want to make you mine for the rest of eternity. I want to show you the depths of my love towards you, to show you how much I've waited to finally reveal myself and be with you, to make you feel the same way that I feel. And what better way to make you mine than drinking some of your blood, to sing by your fangs into your soft neck, and to taste your delicious blood, leaving behind the marks where my fangs entered, marking you as mine forever. <sighs> that way, you'll know that you're mine, 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 and only mine. <laughs> yes, that's a perfect idea. I'll bite down on you. And then you'll be mine for eternity. Doesn't that sound good, darling? I promise it won't hurt. In fact, it'll be the opposite. I think that you'll like the feeling I'm about to give you. The people who I bit before all described it as being quite pleasurable. My fangs sinking into your pretty little throat. Are you ready, love? I'm gonna bite down now. What's wrong? You're shaking quite a bit. It looks like you don't want to be bit. But you don't have any other option, do you? If you stay still, it won't hurt as much. Here, you can hold my hand if it'll make it easier on you. Uh, you have such soft skin. Your hand feels so gentle in mine. The texture is amazing. I can't even imagine how good your blood tastes. Absolutely everything about you is like a drug to me. And I simply can't let you out of my sight. I can't go on without you. And now... It almost feels like I can't live without your blood. All right, here it goes. Your blood tastes divine, darling. Oh, it's sweet. Warm. I can't get enough of it. How did it feel? Did it hurt at all? It hurt you more than it should have. Oh, I'm very sorry for that. I didn't mean to make it hurt. I apologize. Please forgive me. It looks like you have a bit of blood pouring down your neck. Here, let me lick it off. Oh, it tastes amazing. But it's even better when I drink it out straight from your body. Now you're officially mine. Mine and no one else's. I promise that I will never leave your side for as long as you live. I'll take care of you. I'll feed you, clothe you, and love you. And all you have to do is love me back. And sometimes let me drink from your blood, alright? Now, let me hear it. Say it. Say that you love me. Oh my god. Thank you so much. 
Those words mean so much to me, sweetie. You know exactly how to excite me, don't you? You're all I've ever wanted. And so, I will be all that you want as well. I feel so great just knowing that you love me, too. That means that you've given your soul to me. And you surrendered all your emotions and love to me. And only me. And your body as well. You gave that to me, too, by letting me mark you. I also feel as though my cold body is being warmed inside and out by yours, now that we're together. All the time that I spent in the dark, lurking in the shadows, always keeping my eyes on you, Somehow only made my cold soul and body even colder. But now that you're finally mine, and that you said you love me as well, made my body feel warm and my heart even warmer. Oh, darling, you're so perfect for me. You know that, right? You're the most beautiful person ever, and I wouldn't have anyone else besides you. I don't care if there's a million miles between us. I would still find you and love you just as much. I would do anything for you, my love. If there's a person that you don't like that much, you can just tell me, and I'll kill them for you, all right? So don't hesitate to ask me for anything. Now why don't you be a good little pet and let me cuddle you? Oh my, you feel so warm, darling. This moment is so special for me. Just thinking about sharing your warmth is enough to make me happy. And I can't imagine how happy you'll make me from now on. You and me for the rest of our lives. It feels as though I can't leave your embrace, no matter how hard I try. Oh, how sweet of you to also snuggle up to me. Did you take the same amount of liking towards me as I did you? You're so precious to me. It's almost like I can bite down on you again and drink some more of your delicious blood. Of course, I hate to ruin such a beautiful body, but if it's in the name of our relationship and to what depths it will reach, then I'd gladly bite you again. When the morning comes, we'll go to my house and start our beautiful lives together. All right, if you're a good pet, maybe I won't chain you down in my basement. Don't even try to escape. You don't want to make me sad, do you? Anyway, let's rest now. And when we wake up, nothing will tear us apart. I love you. <laughs>